Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show the game between Olaf and Azarenus and Daniel Besson. This game was played in Switzerland in 2004. Nazarenus had white pieces and he started with e4. Besson played d5 and white didn't capture the pawn on d5. He played d4. If pawn takes pawn on d5, then queen takes on d5 and we have Scandinavian defense. But Nazarenus wanted to play Blackma Dima Gambit and he played d4. Pawn takes pawn. Knight to c3 attacking the pawn, defending f3, pawn takes pawn, knight takes on f3. White is playing Black Madima Gambit. For a sacrifice pawn, White gets a lead in development and the semi open file for his rook, of course, after castling. Bishop to f5, developing the bishop before playing e6. However, e6 is not a bad move. After e6 and bishop to c4, then the black would play bishop to e7, castling, castling, and in this variation, black gets his king to safety sooner. Okay, in the game we have bishop to f5, bishop to c4, c6, white castled kingside, e6, and now knight to e5, and we have reached the most critical position of the game. It is black to move, and black must be very careful. How would you continue if you had black pieces? Have a good look. Well, first I have to tell you that natural move like bishop to e7 doesn't work. Let's have a look. If bishop to e7 is played, then white takes bishop on f5 with rook. And after pawn takes rook, knight takes on f7, forking the queen and the rook. And after queen to c7, knight takes rook and white is winning. Interesting, isn't it? So how should black continue then? Well, it looks like that bishop takes on c2 is the best try. Let's have a look at this continuation. Bishop takes on c2 attacking the queen. Queen takes bishop. Queen takes pawn on d4, check. King to h1. And now queen takes knight. Bishop to f4, attacking the queen. Queen to a5. And black is three pawns up, but still behind in development. There was a game MacGregor and Grant played in 1989 in Edinburgh. MacGregor played queen to b3 and still won with white pieces. Okay, never mind. Let's return to our game. We have knight to e5 and black played knight from b to d7. It is white to move. What would you play in this position if you had white pieces? It should be fairly easy now because I have already shown you some variations. So this is the winning move. Rook takes bishop. Pawn takes rook. Knight takes on f7, forking the queen and the rook. Queen to c7. Knight takes rook. Knight to g4. Threatening queen takes on h2. Queen to e1, check. Bishop to e7. g3, defending h2. In a panic mode, black tried to unpin. But this is also losing. What would you play in this position if you had white pieces? What is the winning move?
Nazarenus played queen to e6, threatening checkmate on f7. Black played knight from g to e5, defending f7, but not g8. Queen to g8, check, mate. What do you think of this game? Did white have a good compensation for a sacrifice pawn or not? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.